my personal experience is if you just raise the level of compassion, if you teach people compassion, compassion is the, it neutralizes. I call it the sol salve. You just put it on anything and it heals. You know, that, that panacea. So you're like, uh, I taught forgiveness starting maybe 15 years ago. And that, it's like people say, how do you forgive? There's so many things, but it boils down to compassion. You have to not want to destroy that person or get back at that person. So where is that coming from? It's in the heart. Every, you know, so many people are dealing with this. And that's that's where I feel the, the work has to be. And the prejudice, oh my God, that's like, that's rooted, so deeply rooted, you know. It's like to get to the bottom of it. I, I work in China, and I don't know if you know this, but in China, if there's a poor kid on the street and says, my, you know, my parents left me for the day and I have nothing to eat, and he goes up to people, he will be ignored 100%. Did you know that? Any poor person begging, he will be ignored 100%. So I have disciples there, and I talked to them about this, and I said, is this true? And they said, yes. I said, even you? And they said, yes. And I said, what's going on here? And so we talked about compassion. And it was that cultural paradigm. The, like no one ever talked to them about it. You know, like these people are suffering. You can help them. Why don't you help them? Oh, we never thought about it. You know, it, people will think something's wrong with us. It's, it's amazing. Um, I was in another country. And in that country, everybody fights. It's just like normal. Like if you don't fight, there's like nothing to do in that country. So if you don't fight, then it's really boring. I mean, that's the way I perceived it. And, um, and then it was an island, it was a small island. And then I had a friend who was working in another small island. He said, in that country you're in, does everybody fight? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, it's the same here. I go, yeah, they're bored on an island, you know. <laughs> they need excitement. Um, and so, you know, I was thinking about it and I was thinking, well, if you take these people out of the island, will they still fight? Will they still be envious? Because that's like, it's kind of like the culture. And they're not. It's just that they're not envious, angry people. It's the culture that makes them that way. And, you know, you look at that and you go, how to resolve this? Because the culture just reinforced. I don't know how it started. And we've tried to resolve it in so many ways. And it's, it's if you take them out, they're fine. It's like they're totally different. So that's, I think, is a really big challenge, you know, the culture, you know. There's just some cultures are like, they're not, they're not used to being too nice and too, uh, you know. And some religions do that also, because you're not part of our religion, so. <laughs> you're like a disease, like typhoid Mary, I don't want to talk to you.